dearest colleagues of the member organizations of the European region, welcome on behalf of the executive to the first part of our 2020 general meeting. I wish that I were not coming to you in this way. However, we are living in extraordinary times. I would much prefer to be greeting you in person and I will certainly miss your warm hugs, handshakes and embraces. I hope you and your members are all well. As frontline health professionals providing essential services across the European region, thank you. Fortunately, we have human ingenuity, resourcefulness, resilience and kindness in abundance. And together, they will carry us through to better and brighter days. An example of that resourcefulness is the technology that we have that enables us to hold part of the general meeting online. So we are asking you to participate in the online decision making that will allow us to continue to serve you and the profession in the European region. In the next few slides, I'll be outlining to you uh, the procedure that is uh, needed um, in order to cast your votes. I want to turn now towards the procedures for part one of the uh, ERWCPT uh, general meeting. What is needed for you to vote at the general meeting? In order for you to cast your vote for your member organisation, we need you to send us the name and the email address of the person who will be the voting delegate. Please send this to info at erwcpt.eu and send it before the 27th of April. In return, we will send the delegate a special code to the email they can provide that allows access to the voting section. As well as the documents that we have sent to you in the beginning of March, we have made some presentations online for you to access. Um, these include the report on the activities of the region, the charter, the finance report and the budget proposals, as well as the expressions of interest from the candidates standing for election and the advanced practice uh, briefing document. If you have any questions, points of clarification, if there's anything you don't understand, even the smallest point that is concerning you, please let us know. Email us at info at erwcpt.eu. And no matter how small the issue is, thank you for sending it to us and we will be here to answer it. We will answer all of the questions or queries or concerns that we receive and we will place them on a site on, on the site or in some way that all of the member organizations uh, can benefit from from them as well. What do you do next? We need you to vote on every document that is on the list of voting documents and also to vote in the elections for the candidates who are standing for the executive committee and as alternative committee member. The voting lines will open once you receive your access to vote and you can vote as early as you wish. However, the last time to vote will be on the 8th of May. The voting lines will remain open until 2 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you in advance for casting your vote and thank you for participating in this part of the general meeting.
as with every meeting, there are always many people to thank. I'd like to start by thanking the members of the working groups, uh, 19 uh, people from across 16 member organizations who have made an enormous uh, contribution to the work of the European region during the last two years. I would also like to thank the 16 member organizations who funded these working group members uh, to attend and to participate. We are very grateful to them for that support. This work could not be done with, without your support. Nextly, I'd like to thank the members of the Executive Committee for their commitment and their energy and their wise counsel. Special thanks to Roland Claps, who stands down after two terms. Roland has been a remarkable servant to the European region. His knowledge of the European Union, his attention to detail, and his principled approach to everything he does means that we will miss him greatly, but wish him well. Next, I would like to thank David Cornea for his unwavering commitment to our profession and for using every possible opportunity throughout the European region to promote the profession. Lastly, thank you to you, the member organisations. I am conscious every day that it is your membership fees that enable us to do the work for you and for the profession, and I am deeply grateful. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay strong, stay apart, but stay close in heart and mind.